and this lesson will add some stairs and railings to our design. Alright, so we're pretty much done with the placement of this, but when I scroll in I can notice there's a little gap here and that might have a uh, problem or cause a problem for us a little bit later when we are trying to get our stairs in place. So let's jump to an elevation real quick and let's make that adjustment. So up to my east elevation and we want this to line up with that topo surface, so I'm going to select it, grab that model and I'm just going to line it up with this topo surface. Jump back to 3D view and what that did was it lined it up perfectly. So now, really the only thing we need to do is come in here and create our stairs that are going to lead from the top of this topo surface to the top of here. So let's get that com accomplished real quick. So I'm going to jump to, um, let's do this, this particular level here. Let's jump to an east elevation and see what level that is. And I believe that level is the top of bank. And it might be apparent in my section here. So we'll go to section. So basically our stairs need to go from the top of the bank to the top of the stairs. Basically, essentially. And I can actually stand to move this. This is going to have to move as well. So we'll select that level and we'll move it down to accurately reflect, reflect its position there. Oh, nope, didn't catch. So we'll go top of stairs grab it and move it to where the top of the stairs are going to be. And that's where we need to be. So top of bank to the top of stairs is where we need to take these steps. So I'm going to jump to top of bank view here on my views. And we're going to create our stairs. So essentially our stairs are going to go from here and lead up to there. And this should be offset about six feet. Let's double check that. So basically our stairs are going to go from anywhere in this point to that point. So I'm going to go to architecture. I'm just going to do this in site. That way we can see everything we're working on. And I'm going to go to my stair tool here. And we want to do this. The base level is going to be top of bank. And we want it to go to, let's do this, top of stairs. And then we'll do top of bank. So now I just got to draw out my stairs. So go from this point to this point. We'll create our stairs for us. And I'm going to adjust the type of, of stair I have here. Um, so let's quickly finish out this command real quick. Let's see how this looks. Now I don't want this particular style of handrail. Um, so I'm going to get rid of those. Don't really need those. And for this stair type, I want a different type. Let's see what we can find. So I'm going to come down here. We're going to go to a precast stair here. And I need, I need to adjust, one, the positioning of it. So we need to move this over to where it hits that. But I also need to adjust its width. So let's do that real quick. So we'll click on that. We'll edit stairs. And we'll adjust its width to be, we'll say, 25 feet. And it could probably stand to be a lot less than that. We'll say... Uh, 18 feet. And it looks like it needs to be a little bit larger, so we'll say 19 feet. See what 19 feet does for us. Looks like that'll work, and I'm just going to move it into the correct position here. So we'll grab this point, stop it about right here. Looks good. Now we'll jump around to this view and finish out our command. And I just need to bring this staircase over to where it hits uh, our floor platform over here. So let's do this in an elevation view. And I'm going to jump to wireframe just so I can see through here. And I see where that needs to hit. So we'll grab our stair. We'll move it. And I want this to hit right about there. Like so. Now I can jump back to my 3D view. And you can see we have our stairs in place. Very easy stuff. So I don't want to go through this whole process again. So I'm going to see if I can't just mirror this over to the other side. So let's uh, highlight that stair we just placed. We'll jump to an east elevation. We'll mirror by picking axis. And we'll see if we can get this accomplished. Pick that axis. And our stairs should be over there. So we'll jump to 3D view. And let's check out and see what happened here. Perfect. Stairs are positioned. So the last thing we need to do is get our, our handrails in place. So I'm going to go with something that's a little different than you know your average basic, you know, square post. I want some glass and some steel. So let's do that. So let's go look for some railing here. 
and we're going to draw in our railing. So let's do this in view here. We'll go to top of stair view. So we'll go top of stairs. And I'm going to put in my railings because it's going to go along my walkway here. So we'll do a simple line. And we'll start off our railing to be, oh, we'll say about three inches in from that end. And we'll just shoot it all the way across here. And I'll green check mark that. And that probably went on the wrong level, but that's not a problem. I can find it, and we'll shoot it up to the correct level. That's exactly what happened. So we'll highlight that, stick it on the right level, which should be top of stairs. But we'll also change the type that we're working with here. Um, I want to select a different one. So let's go with this glass panel bottom fill. Give it a much more high-tech look. Perfect. I like that. So I'm going to jump back to my top of stairs view. And we're going to do the same thing again. So we'll go, uh, we'll go with railing. And we'll go in about three inches from this corner. And we'll just shoot it right across here. All the way up to where we placed our other rail. Like so. Green check mark. It should be on the right level. But we just need to change its type. So we'll change it from that basic one to the one we actually want. So let me select my rail system here. And we'll go with the bottom field with the pipe. So easy stuff there. Um, so we could take the same approach. We'll do the same thing to the stairs here. We'll finish those out as well. So I can jump back to... Well, actually, we'll click on this element. And I'm going to go to Site View so I can see everything. And I want to create rails. So we'll go Architecture. We'll go Rail. And I want it to go to a host. So we'll make sure it goes onto this host. So I'm going to go basically from three, three inches in. And we're going to go and connect it to the top here. Green check mark it. And it looks like it did go to the wrong level, but we'll just have to pick new host. That won't be a problem. So I'm going to orbit around until I can find that stair we just shot down. And there it is. Oh, that rail. And that one needs to go to top of stairs. So it's really important. Or actually, it needs to go to the stairs. So let's pick a new host for this guy. We'll pick new host, and we'll set him there. And that should run up and down those stairs nicely. And it did. So now I just need to change the type. We'll select it. Come down to my drop down, get the bottom fill. And it looks good. And we'll do the same thing for this side and finish that off. So I'll come around here and I'll see if we can't mirror that. So that's going to be our south. So I'm going to go to my south elevation. We'll mirror by probably drawing the axis. Draw axis from this midpoint. Sh rails should shoot over really easily there. And they did. So we'll do the same thing. I'm going to select this guy and this guy. And this time we'll jump to our east elevation. And we're going to mirror by drawing axis again. Or we'll mirror by selecting axis. So it should be able to find the midpoint of our structure there. And it did. So now I could go around and go to our 3D view and take a look at what we have. And we've just completed our bridge, complete with uh, handrails and everything. So you've just completed your first piece of infrastructure modeling in Revit. So you should be really proud of yourself. Um, to get this done, we took a pretty complicated approach. We learned how to use some adaptive modeling tools and the techniques, as well as some parameters to really create a really neat looking bridge um, using some unorthodox and a little bit of organic forms. Um, so with these tips and techniques, I'm confident you'll be able to create something like this of your own, but you'll also be able to take the techniques you learned in this workflow and apply them to other types of architecture or other types of structure. So I'm really excited to be able to show you this, and I hope you learned something from this, and I look forward to our next course together. Thank you.